We're back, baby. That's what a lot of people are saying, as the ex-CEO of FRVR put out a message recently this morning. So today, I want to break down this message and a few other things I've seen recently in the community and my personal plan moving forward. It is important to note that this message was sent from the ex-CEO. Now, why he's the ex-CEO, I'm not exactly sure. There could be a multitude of different reasons and it's really not great to speculate on this, but it is something to note. I'm gonna break down some of these main parts. If you do wanna read it in its entirety, I'll have it on screen here, or it's in the official Krunker Discord server. Firstly, one of the main aspects of this message is the fact that they really just abandoned the community. Now, this is important because they take ownership of the fact they did this, and this way they can see how to not do it again. Another important thing to note is he's spoken to people throughout the community. Now, I can't guarantee how many people he's spoken to, as I do know he's spoken to Kashi because I asked him. However, I'm not sure about all the other people he's spoken to. A quick thing to note is they say they have an active player base still, and while this is true, I've seen they've been averaging about 800 to 1,000 people on at the same time consistently, but it's not the same as they used to have. They used to have 2,000 people before they bought it. A few of the things that they say they're going to work on in the future updates of the game is the community at heart and how they need to build it about the community, fixing scams, abuse, compromised accounts, and cheaters, fixing foundational server infrastructure, improving security, stability, and the user experience is urgent and important. There will be a season 8, season 9, etc. so they can continue to do the seasons in Krunker and it will look more like Krunker.io, not the Krunker Strike game that no one really liked. That wraps up the majority of the main points that he made in this. However, he says he's going to release some more messages about what went wrong and what they've built behind the scenes. So hopefully we'll have some good news in the future. Those were the main things I saw in the message that needed to be pointed out. However, in my opinion, I don't believe it until I see it. There's reasons for these doubts as the Q&A they did about two years ago, they never really implemented any of those things. So it's hard to take them for their word once they've shown that they can't keep their word. Also, I'm personally not in contact with any of the developers or people in the staff team, so I can't tell you if they're doing anything behind the scenes. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Make sure to let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. I'm personally going to do a Krunker giveaway in my Discord server, so make sure you guys join that so you guys can be entered into that giveaway.